Hi, my name is Tina Beatty. As is outlined on the slide, I work predominantly online in various tutoring and educationally related capacities. My background is in EFL slash ESL with a Master's of Education with an emphasis on TESOL, along with my bachelor's degrees in English and film and video production. As a result of my experience in this area, I feel that online learning or e-learning has great potential to change how we learn and teach, creating a new, different, and enjoyable experience of this journey. In looking at the learning trends over time, we can see a shift in perspectives and ideas of what learning and teaching looks like. In the past, the perspective on learning and teaching is best illustrated through the image on the left-hand side of the slide. The teacher was the expert, completely in charge of the learning process, both in terms of content to be covered and pacing of the instruction. Learning was a transfer of knowledge, skills, and abilities from the expert to the student as though filling an empty vessel. This view relied on a more objectivist, behaviorist outlook. Over time, this perspective shifted and the nature of how learning occurred and the learner's role in the process was re-examined. The expert role of the teacher was challenged and with it, the nature of who controls the learning process. The learner's status became elevated and she gained more agency. Now, the teacher is seen as a guide or facilitator. The learner is in charge and needs to be actively engaged in struggling to understand and acquire the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed through collaboration with others and through the guidance of the teacher. This outlook is best illustrated in the image on the right-hand side of the slide and favors a, construct a constructivist viewpoint. There are three specific experiences that have shaped my views on teaching and learning. The first was living and working in South Korea for a few years at the beginning of my career. It was during this experience that I finally understood the importance of experiential learning and the importance of motivation and application of learning. The second was teaching English as a foreign language while in South Korea. From this, I learned the impact mental models have on not only our understanding of the world, but how learning challenges these models and reshapes them. Learning a new language encompasses more than simply learning the language, as culture and understandings about the world are all wrapped up in it. Finally, working and completing my thesis to obtain my master's degree exposed me to inquiry and project-based learning as I had to dive into a specific topic or issue, research it to gain knowledge, devise a research study, conduct it, and then report on it. This was a whole new experience of learning for me that I not only benefited tremendously from, but enjoyed. Putting it all together, I would say that my philosophy of learning has taken a progression akin to that of the learning trends addressed above. I feel that learning is very individual and relies on a lot of contextual factors that we are only now beginning to fully understand. I feel that learning needs to be designed and considered carefully so that we can implement the best strategies and activities to aid the learner to the goals and objectives she desires. I also feel that it is a process that is communal. It requires teachers and learners to work together to get the best results. 